So this video is going to be about charging the Vino Electroscope again. So we're going to do that again. Um, but this time we're going to do it through a process called in grounding and in induction through grounding. So we're going to induce a charge in here without actually touching and adding electrons to it. So again, we're going to charge the line light strip. We'll give it a good negative charge. Okay, build up those extra electrons on there. Okay, then going to drive those electrons away down into every other part. Then I'm actually going to ground the top, meaning I'm going to be a source of removal of excess charge. And now I take my hands away, you can see that there's actually a buildup of charge on the electroscope to the point where it is maintaining a charge right now. Even though there's no charge object being brought close to it, um, it has a charge on there. So it's a little tricky what happens here, but to explain it, when we brought the vinyl light strip close, we're driving electrons away from that top portion, right? They want to get away from this negative charge. If I give, they don't really have a place to go other than into this metal, so the negative charges disperse to other locations. But if I touch the surface, that gives those electrons an outlet to go to. I'm a ground, which basically means I can absorb or give or balance out any charge that might be um, that might be a net more than zero, right? So basically, by touching this top, I've neutralized this top portion right here. Except, I've already pushed a lot of the electrons away, okay? So I'm not neutralizing the entire thing because there's extra electrons left in other locations. So I'm actually sucking up some of those electrons from the top. Now I have fewer electrons overall in the entire thing than protons, which means the entire thing is going to be positively charged. So when that vein deflected back out again, it wasn't because they were both negatively charged, it was because I had taken electrons away that the vinyl light strip was trying to push away from it. Threw my hands into wherever, it doesn't really matter, but that leaves fewer electrons and protons, positive charge throughout the ring, which means the electroscope is gonna repel. So it doesn't just need to be negative charges causing repulsion, it could be positive charges because of lack of electrons that would cause the electroscope to repel.